Hi guys, this is Steph from Site Gorilla. Today we're going to go over how to use CSS to style your user profile widget. In the video below, I talk about how to get an image uploaded to it if you need to do that as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to inspect the element to grab the code that we need to start to work with. So I'm going to go up here and go keep going up up, up until I hit the top of the widget. And usually I make sure that I'm there by clicking one above it, just to make sure that I'm off of it. See it highlight over here? So go one down. So this is what I'm gonna need, this user profile three. So what I need to do is hit these little buttons, hit copy, copy element. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a little text editor, hit new document, I'm gonna paste. And right here is what I want to grab, user profile three. Copy that. And then I need to go into my customizer, which I'll show you how to get into. You go to appearance, customize. Scroll down to additional CSS and you're gonna paste that code. I'm gonna put a dot before there. And then we're gonna have our open and close brackets. So now we're ready to actually modify that user profile setting. Now, there may be other settings in here and so I don't have to guess. I'm gonna to link to this uh, post down here because he already has some things that work well. As you can see, he's using a pound, so I'm going to go do that, and then he's giving you some code in here. So I'm going to go back here and use a pound instead of a dot. And now what I want to do is, if you see here, it's smashed right up against it, so I want to give it some padding to the right. So padding right, and let's give it five pixels. We're going to publish. And then I'm going to refresh. So there's another bit of code I need. I'm going to go back here and see if he has. Yeah, so we need to add also this to make it hit the avatar. So we'll just come in and profile three avatar. We'll hit publish. That is my cat Tenzin. She is saying hello. And then we'll come refresh. So there you go. We have some padding to the right here with your avatar. Now, let's say I wanted to make this whole thing uh, have a color on the background. Uh, I would not use the avatar, so what I'm gonna do is just pick up this whole thing, copy, paste, I'm gonna remove the avatar part. And instead of padding right, I'm gonna say background, color is, Let's go pick a good hex code. You can use Google to do this. I, I use Photoshop personally, so I'm gonna pick, uh, let's pick this dark red. Okay. So we're gonna come down here and say we're gonna use this dark red. You have to put the hashtag before and then close it with a semicolon publish and see what it looks like. Great. So now we can see that the actual padding on this, we need some padding on the top and to the left. So I'm going to come in and give this some padding to the left and right.
English. There we go, now we have some padding. Um, I think I need some padding at the top here too, so. I'm gonna give it 10 picks on the top. There we go. And now I need to make this text a lighter color. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to use color and then FFF is the short code for white. So we'll make that text white so we can read it. There we go, much more readable. Now I want this picture a little bigger and I want this text a little bigger and I may need to add a little more padding on the sides there. I don't like how close it is. So I'm going to give it 10 pixels to the left, right, and top. Refresh to take a look. That's better. And I want to make that photo bigger. So I'm going to come into oops, appearance widgets. It was already going somewhere. Let's try it again. Appearance widgets. And I'm going to go into the Genesis user profile and I'm going to choose a large picture. Hit save. There we go, there's a larger picture. The padding all still looks good. And now I would like the text to be a little bigger. So I'm going to come in here and I'm gonna say the font size is, let's try 1.2 EM. And you do have to do a little guesswork on this if you don't know. Let's say this could be huge for all I know. Looks good to me. So that in general is how to do some modifications to the user picture. Uh, this guy here has some pretty cool stuff. And again, I'll link to this in the bottom. But he has here, if you want to make the user image round, uh, this is what you do. So what we're gonna do is copy this from him, widget title. Come on in here. Paste widget title and grab this from before. So now we have user profile, that number I showed you how to get in the other, in the beginning of the video. Hi, kitty. And we are gonna also go grab Oh, it's for the avatar. Crap. Well, we're going to grab this and change that to avatar. So that's right there, and this needs to say avatar. Which I can go add that to this up here. I don't know why it's not showing. So I can use it there because I already did this to the avatar, and in fact, I'm just going to go do that. I don't want messy code. So there we go, we'll hit publish. And then this is gonna become a round avatar. So really the hardest thing is finding those initial codes to be able to work with this widget. The rest is fairly simple and normal CSS. I hope this helped. Please like my video if this helped you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notifications button if you want videos delivered instantly to your inbox. And remember, don't let your website drive you bananas.